embeddings are one of most interesting things of ChatGPT API. It gives us the possibility to perform queries over the documents inside a specific context. You can imagine that your organization or the context of your application needs to ask things to ChatGPT, but not one overall question based in the internet content. But you would like your specific documents that are in the context of your organization have a most relevance to be addressed for providing and elaborating the answer ChatGPT will deliver. So in this video, let's see one example about how to do that. Hi there, my name is Rafael and I'm going to guide you through this video. Basically, we are going to use the Python programming language. We are going to use that for consuming the OpenAI API. We are going to do here three main parts. First, we are going to read local files and train that with the embedding functionality. The second part, we are going to receive a question from our user, and we are also going to transform that with the embedding functionality. And then we are going to compare both embedding for finding the document with most similarity with user question. And the third and last part, we are going to ask the question to ChatGPT, but providing the most similar documents for it, use as base as its answer. And then the answer we are going to receive from that, we will consider our specific context instead of the whole internet content. So hope you enjoy the video and let's start. Now let's start to know the code I have prepared for this example. And just remembering, the code is available to be entirely downloaded from GitHub. It's not a long code, it's just one single file that has lower as 100 lines. So we can copy that entirely from GitHub. Of course, here the API key I'm utilizing here in this video will not be more available when you are going to execute and have access to that. It's just for demonstration purpose. The code available in GitHub has not these values here, but it's already expired. So you have to generate your own keys for executing this example. What I'm using here, the Python programming language, inside this replete online ID for Python. So what this code basically does, we have here some kind of imports, one for transforming PDFs in text content, we utilize here for our data sets, then we can read PDFs, have the text content, and then transform in the embeds that is going to be generated by ChatGPT. And then here we have this library here that help us for make comparisons between the ChatGPT embeds with the user question embeds, and then another support APIs for handling with files and so on. Okay, let's uh, read from beginning. We have here some kind of functions, one function that's going to generate one embed per file, so it receives one file path, and then call the ChatGPT API here for generating the embedding, and once, once you have the embedding, we produce the embedding file. One embedding file has this face here. It's one array of float values, okay? It's going to utilize it for, for similarity comparison later on. Now we return to the code. Uh, another function that's going to build one embed array, the idea, I, as I told you earlier, we have three parts. The first part of the code is basically um, here in which we are going to generate embedding from files. So here we have one array of files. So here, in case you are going to use this code here, you can set the, a list of the whole files of your organization you would like to be processed. So here, it's going to process the file by file, producing for each file, producing for each file, one respective embedding file here. So for each file has one respective embedding file, which contains then the, um, the, um, this array that's going to be used for similarity comparison. And then once you have concluded this part that you have seen here how to build, based then after we take the PDF file, we extract from the PDF the text content from the PDF, 
and once you have the text content, we ask for transforming this text, text in one embed file, and we also store the embed file. Why we are going to store in the embed also in a file? Because we don't need to call that uh, every time I run the program. Otherwise, I will consume so much of the API. And remember, open keys, that's free, without costs. It has a limit per day. And in case you have a commercial key, in case you pay some kind of cloud credits for usage, you are going to consume your credit. So once you have trained your document with embeddings, save that locally. Then you don't need to pay every time and also don't need to wait the time because this function here is time consuming. Right, so here we have the embed prepared for every file. And now we set all the embeds in one array generated embedding from file okay it's first part now Se second part we first create a embedding data set what's this stuff basically here we created one ar array of data set that we have in one side the original text and another side the embedding so i have in one side the content the text content or original content and the other side, we have the respective embedding. Both are related. And then we need to create one array for that because when user provide a question, we are going based in the embedding, find the most similar content, but we are going to send to ChatGPT just the original text for it to utilize it as basis for elaborating the answer. Okay, once we have our data set prepared, then we can ask the user, what's your question? So here, of course, here's just a demonstration, but you could have a nice web interface where user can put some kind of question, and then you ask. Once you ask that, we are going also to use the same functionality we have, we have utilized above for processing the files. We are going to ask for having the embedding of user question, and the embedding also is stored here. Then now I have the, the data set trained here, for the files of your organization, you have the embedding of user question. And now what you have to do, find the most similar ones. This question is related with which files because we cannot send everything together to ChatGPT. It receives just some small set of data. So here we use these functionalities here for calculate the similarity, all these stuffs here. Basically, we are going to use the pandas library for creating this data frame and then we are going to use this, <coughs> this functionality here for calculate the similarity of the user question with each file we have generated the embedding. And then we sort the values for having the, the biggest similarity in the first position. So we, we take here the top three ones, but in my case, I mean, I'm just using the, the first one. And because I have just two documents for this demonstration, but let's take the top ones. And then we, we extract the most similar content here. And then the last part is we are going to ask ChatGPT. So here is the user question, but it's not goes alone, ChatGPT. Here we create one context. It's like the conversation already begins with the content of your local file, the file from your organization. So when ChatGPT receives the user question, it receives together your specific content. So this answer is going to be elaborated based in the document content. Just for you having an idea, here I have one content about Node.js programming language that is I take from Wikipedia, and then here I take some content from Java programming language. And then I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask for ChatGPT what is the most popular object-oriented programming language. And then it will going to utilize as based two documents I have. And just for you know, here it says something that Java is one of most uh, popular programming languages for object oriented. So this is going to be considered in this answer. So let's run this code and see what's going to produce to us. Just running that. And then it's going to print some things in console. Then we are going to follow what's happening. So here it calculates the similarity with user question with the file content. So we have more similarity with the Java um, content 
as Node.js content is the second place. So the content we are going to to deliver for ChatGPT is this content here as the as basis of, of the answer. And then when we ask what's the most popular object-oriented programming language, the answer is influenced by this previous content. So it, here it says that the Java is considered one of most popular programming languages because it probably is here some where just find here for popular here Java is one of most popular programming languages. So that's the reason we received this answer. So that's the overall of this code.